Hi, my name is Diana and in this tutorial I'll show you step by step how to create this animation right here using Canva Pro. And pay attention because the animation has music too. You can follow this tutorial even if you are a beginner because it is pretty simple to create and I'll show you all the steps. On this animation you can see that I used a soap bottle as a product but you can follow this tutorial using photos of your own products and make a an unique animation like for example this one. Before we start, I just want to remind you that you'll need Canva Pro to follow this tutorial as we'll be using media and also some animation features that are not available in Canva free. But we have a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro in the description in case you want to use it. Here we are in canva.com and the first thing we are going to do is to create a new document. I'm going to create a vertical video so I'm going to the videos section and from here I'm selecting mobile video so click create blank which is going to open the editor and from here we are going to start building our animation. For this tutorial I'm not using a real product so I'll search for a bottle dispenser in the library i'm going to elements and let me search for bottle dispenser i'm hitting enter then i'm going to photos from here you are going to find the image that you want to use i know that i want to use one of these photos but not particularly this photo because we have three different bottles i'm going to click here on the three dots and then see more like this as you can see we have now a collection of similar photos Photos, and I'm going to select the photo with just one button. I'm going to bring this one to my empty page by clicking one time. Now that I have this image right here, I'm going to remove the background. If you already have a product photo that you want to use on this project, I do suggest that you use that photo instead. I'm using this one because I don't have a real product. Okay, you're going to select your photo and then click edit photo. From here, we are going to remove the background of the photo because we are not going to use it on this animation so click here one time and canva will automatically remove the background okay i'm going to remove these empty spaces from the image because these are transparent now and just to make this product a little bit more realistic i'm going to add a brand to the bottle so i'm going to add two different text boxes click on the text icon on the left and from here you can add a text box by clicking on this button so one text box and a second one on the first text box i'm going to type new soap and then on the next one the name of the soap so i want to name my soap organic care and then i'm going to change the fonts and the colors of these two text boxes so they look more aesthetic for this text box i'm going to use the font forum so searching for the font selecting the font and then i'm going to change the color for a golden one so i'm trying to find here the color if you have a color in particular that you want to add to this text box or any element on your design you can add the hex code in here i'm also going to change this font for open source so searching for open source and changing the color to white now we just need to adjust the size of these text boxes and i'm also going to adjust the letter spacing in here i'm selecting the first text box going to the toolbar and selecting the spacing icon and then i'm moving the first slider to the right more or less to 200 
And I think that's it for these adjustments. I'm now going to select all of these elements and group them. Remember that if you have a product photo, you don't need to add these text boxes. I'm just doing it so we have a mockup to work with. I'm going to leave now this product on this page and I'm going to work on the first page of the animation. We're going to add a new page by clicking on this plus icon. If you don't see the plus icon and you see something like this, you only see a white page, you would like to click on this little tiny arrow pointing up to show the pages. Click here and you should see this timeline. Now that we all are seeing exactly the same as I'm showing you, you are going to then add a page. So click one time and now you should see an empty page. You're going to drag this page to the first position. So drag it to the left and then you will see that page number one is empty and page number two has your product. On the first page I would like to have the logo of the product showing up and in the background a video related to the product. And because I'm creating a video about an organic soap I would like to add or showcase some herbs in the background of the first page of this animation. So I'm going to open elements, I'm going back and then from here I'm going to search for herbs. Hitting enter and then remember to go to the videos tab. In this case we are under photos but we want to find a video. So clicking here on videos and then I'm just going to see what is available in here. I think this video looks nice and it is going to work with the animation so I'm going to drag this video to my white page and it will be automatically taken to the background of the page. You can see or preview the video here and if you are happy with the selection you are going to adjust the length of the video. You just need to click on the video and then you will see that this toolbar gets activated. Search for this scissor icon and from here you are going to trim the video. I'm gonna trim it until we see around two seconds in here. You can then move this selection of two seconds of the video in this timeline to select the section of the video that you want to see in this page. So I think this part of the video is more interesting. Let me play it and I think I'm going to leave it like this. Click done and now we are going to add the logo of your product in here. I'm going to page number two because I created a logo that we can use on this page. So I'm going to duplicate this element and then ungroup it. I'm going to delete the product because I only need this logo. I'm going to group these two elements and now I just need to copy these elements and paste them on page number one. So Control C or Command C, go to page number one and then Control V. I have now my logo here. I think I'm just going to make it bigger so we can see it clearly. Now if you want you can take a look at the first two seconds of your animation and if everything looks fine you can continue to page number two. If it's difficult for you to see the logo on these first two seconds because the background is too messy you can try changing the video in the background for something that is a little bit more simple or maybe you can use another video that has colors that contrast with your logo so you can see it clearly. We are now going to work on page number Number two of the animation. So I'm clicking on page number two. Remember that we have here the logo that I used on page number one. We don't need it anymore so I'm going to delete it and work only with my product right here. On page number two I'm going to add some elements that are going to help me play around with the animations and have some movement in here. Because I'm working with soap, I think bubbles can work really well in here. If you are working with a different product, try to imagine what kind of elements are related to your product 
and you can add those elements okay so going back to the library i'm going for graphics and this time i'm going to type bubble i'm gonna use this element right here so by clicking one time on the element i will bring it automatically to my page let me close in this window and i'm going to position one of these bubbles on this corner then i'm going to duplicate the bubble position another one somewhere here and duplicating one more time the element i'm going to bring another bubble to this corner and because i want to play around with the dimension on this design i'm going to leave one of these bubbles on top of the bottle and then another one behind i'm going to select the bubble that i want to bring behind then clicking on the three dots or clicking on position and then making sure that you are under a range you are going to click to back this is going to bring your bubble behind this bottle and to add some more dimension and for us to be able to see clearly these bubbles i'm going to add a color to the background so i'm selecting the background in here then i'm clicking on background color and then i'm clicking on the plus icon right here this is going to allow me to add a new color and because i'm playing around with dimension instead of adding a solid color i'm going to add a gray Gradient. you can see here the two colors of your gradient there is white and there is gray but instead of gray i want to add a green color i'm going to click on the color that you want to change i'm going to click on this one and from here again you can play around with these sliders to select the color that you want to use or simply add a hex code another way to choose a color for this gradient is by using the color picker you can select this icon and then and choose a color from your product or maybe one color from the video that you used on page number one so you can go select the color and that's it you can use that color in my case i'm going to add a hex code and then i'm also going to change the style of the gradient you see that under gradient colors we have style we have five different styles to choose from and for this project i'm going for the fourth option so so one two three and four this one is a circular gradient and i'm selecting this gradient because this is going to create a special effect as if we had a light behind our product this is going to give some more protagonism to the product now let's start adding some animations to these elements let's start by selecting the bubbles so i'm going one by one i'm selecting the one in the corner and then in this white toolbar select animate on the left hand side you will see a new window opening up with a selection of different animations i'm going to select the one that is called breathe and i'm going to apply the same animation to all my bubbles so i already have it on this one i'm going for the second bubble clicking on breathe and then third bubble again clicking on breathe all of these bubbles have the same animation which is breathe and they have the out motion activated now we're going to add a transition in between page number one and page number two so we're going to position our cursor in between the two pages until we see these two icons select the little icon below that says add transition and then you can choose from all of these transitions transitions i'm going to select dissolve now let's start building page number three in this animation we are going to have a total of six pages on page number three i'm going to use a duplicate of page number two so i'm going to click on the three dots of page two and then select duplicate page on this page i'm going to add some leaves that are going to appear behind the bottle so again going back to elements this time i'm going to search for ginkgo hit enter and from here you can decide to stay under graphics or under photos i think i found already the image that i want to use which is this one this is the name of the element so let me bring it to the design by clicking one time i'm going to arrange 
this element the way I want to see it on this animation. So something like this. I'm duplicating the element. Let me close this window as we don't need it anymore. Positioning this leaf right here. And then I'm duplicating this element one more time and position it somewhere here a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to select all of these three elements, only the leaf elements, and I'm going to press shift, select one element, the second one and the third one. Then I'm going to position all of these leaves behind the button. So I'm going to position layers and then from here having all of these three elements selected you are going to drag them below the bottle element and if you see on your page your elements are now behind the bottle. Now that I have them behind my bottle I'm going to play around a little bit with them to find a composition that I like more. I think this looks good. And now we are going to select again these three elements of the leaves. So by holding shift, I'm going to again click on the three elements and then copy the elements. I'm going to press Command C or Control C, going back to page two and then paste the elements here. So Command V or Control V. We are now going to make these elements smaller and we are going to rotate them a little bit. Reducing the size of these elements and adding a rotation motion is going to add up to the animation that we will see on page number three. So making this element smaller as well. And now I'm going to again select all of these three elements, go to position and position them below the button. So on page number two, these elements are going to be hidden behind your button and on page number three, you will see them appearing. To create this animation of the leaves appearing, we are going to add a transition in between page two and three. So hover in between these two pages and click on the add transition icon. This time we are going to select the transition match and move. Now when you move this guide in between page two and page number three you will see that the leaves appear and they have a little rotation motion because we added a little rotation on page number two before moving the elements behind the button. And before we move to page number four, we are going to adjust one of the animations on page three. Select one of the bubbles, go to the animate button, which now says breathe, and we are going to, instead of selecting out, selecting in. I'm going to change this for the three bubbles, so I'm going to select the second bubble now, selecting in and on the third bubble as well. Now let me show you the difference between page two and page three. Pay attention to the bubbles. On page two the bubbles are getting bigger and then when we move to page number three the bubbles are getting smaller. So this is because we changed this option to in. Okay so we have page one ready. Let me just take a look at what we have at the moment. This is looking great. I'm just going to reduce the length of these pages to two seconds and a half more or less. Now, on page number four, we are going to again use a duplicate of the previous page. So go to page number three, select the three dots and click duplicate page. On page number four, delete the elements that you have in the corners and behind your product. Leave out just the product. Having the product selected, go to animate and scroll all the way down and make sure that you are under photo animations. In here, you are going to select wiggle and reduce the intensity a little bit. Now, because I want to have something going on in the background, I don't want this animation to be so simple, I'm going back to the library so open elements and I'm going to search for bubble one more time 
hit enter and this time I'm going to videos. Of course if you have a different product you are going to search for something that is related to your product. I'm playing around with bubbles because we have a soap product. Now I'm going to bring this video to my page so I'm dragging the video to the background and I believe because we have a gradient in the background the video didn't go to the back but this is pretty simple to fix you are going to right click on the video and then select replace background finally we are going to reduce the length of this page again to around 2.5 or something like that remember to add a transition in between these two pages and this time i'm going again for match and move now let me show you very slowly what we have in here in between page number three and page four let me move the guide so you can see the motion effects that we have added in here Let's build page number five now and I'm going to create a duplicate again. I love working with duplicates because this allows me to have exactly the same size of my product and this also helps with the animations that we have in between the pages, so the transitions. I'm going to create a duplicate of page number three because I'm going to use the background in here as well. So I'm deleting these elements that we have around the product and I'm going to add a new selection of elements. Again, thinking about my product, this is an organic soap and I'm deciding that this soap was created with herbal oils. So I'm going to search for leaves to see if I can find herbs. Going to search for leaves, hit enter, going to photos, remember, and then to make this search a little bit easier, I'm going to filter my results by clicking on this icon and then selecting cutouts only. I'm scrolling down to see if I find some leaves that I can use on this design and I believe I could use some of this here and then if you like one of the elements that you found, you can click on the three dots and select see more like this. Going back to my search result. And I'm going to try to find some more elements that I can place around my button. Remember that your product is the main character here, so we're going to position all these additional or extra elements behind your product. Now we're going to select all of these additional elements by holding shift, so holding shift, clicking on these elements, and then go to animate, scroll down, select the wiggle motion effect and reduce the intensity by moving the slider to the left. We want to have some movement but we don't want this to be very intense. Now we need to add a transition in between these two pages but this time we're going to use a different one. I'm going to add a transition that is going to help us create an illusion of seeing all of these leaves floating into the scene. So go in between the two pages and select the add transition button. From here you are going to select flow. As you can see we now have the illusion of all of the leaves floating into the scene. We're going to start building the last section of this animation and to create the last page we are going to duplicate page number one. So go to page one, click on the three dots, duplicate page and now move page number two, this duplicate, to the end of the animation. From here I'm going to ungroup these two text boxes because I want to use one of them. I'm going to leave just one. In your case if you are using a logo simply add a text box if you want. Now I'm going to replace the video in the background by another one. So I'm going to first search for the video that I want to use here 
I'm going to remove this previous filter that I had. So I'm removing the filter and this time I'm going to search for podium. Hit enter and then let's go to the videos section. From here we have different animations that can look good on this project. For this particular project, I was using a lot of green colors, so I believe this one right here is going to work perfect. I'm going to drag this video on top of this one, and you will see that Canva does the work for me. It automatically replaced the video for the podium one. Now we are going to the previous page. We're going to select our product, Ctrl C or Command C, go to the last page, Ctrl V or Command V. I'm going to place my product on top of the podium and then I'm going to customize the text box. So let's say that this soap is online exclusive. So adding my new text, making it uppercase. Okay, now the last step would be to trim this video. I think I can leave out some of the sections of the video. So click on the background to make sure that you are selecting the video, then go to the scissors and you're going to trim out the sections that you don't want to see in your animation. So I think I'll be happy with just this part. Okay, this is perfect. And then click done. The transition between page five and page six was automatically added by Canva and I believe match and move is a good transition. If you don't have a transition in between these pages, you can add it. This animation is almost done. I believe we just need to add music and to make use of Canva Pro, we are going to use the music in the library. I'm going to delete this search in here and making sure that you are under elements, scroll down until you see audio. Click see all. From here, you can start browsing through all of these categories by clicking see all. So you have happy, pop, epic, and so on. If you keep scrolling down and to add a track to your animation, you simply need to click on the track that you like. I'm going to use one that I found really nice. So you are going to search for a bit jazz hit enter and this is the one a bit just get it make sure that your guide is at the beginning of the animation where it says zero zero seconds and then click on the audio track and now we have added music to our animation by default we will have the first part of the track so i'm gonna play to see if you can hear I believe the beginning of the song is not bad, but I think in the middle of the song or more farther away, we will have something more animated. So I'm going to double click on the soundtrack and then I'm going to drag this line to the left and hopefully I will find a section that is more animated. So let me play. I think this section of the song is actually pretty, pretty cool. I'm just going to give you one more tip to take advantage of all of these amazing features Canva Pro has. You are going to make sure that you are selecting the soundtrack and then click Beat Sync. From here, you are going to activate sync now and this is going to make your pages and elements be automatically timed to the music so let me play one more time the video and i suppose that after activating this option we will see the pages changing accordingly to the beat so let me play
Great, this is fantastic. I'm going to add just one more thing in here and it is an audio effect. From here we can actually select the track and then add a fade out effect. I believe with just something around 0.5 seconds would be enough and then making sure that this audio track goes all the way to the end. This will make the volume of the audio track go down to zero at the end of the animation. Actually I think we could also have some more of this video right here at the end and I'm gonna stretch this track all the way there. So let me preview the end of the animation. I think this is looking fantastic. I'm going to add just one last detail and it is an extra animation to this text box. I'm going to select the text box, go to animate and add the breathe animation so we can see the text box getting bigger during the last scene of the animation. I'm ready to download this animation and before downloading it I'm going to rename my document. So I'm going to call it organic hair animation or could be product animation and then we can go to share download. By default you will have as file type mp4 video. This is what we want. You can leave the quality as it is or you could also increase the quality to 4K. Now, if you're going to use this animation on social media, I do suggest you connect your account to Canva. This is going to avoid a content ID claim. So very important, I'm going to connect mine by clicking here. We already see our channel name here and we are ready to download. So I'm clicking on download and this is the animation we just created. By the way, if you want to learn about ChatGPT, Ronnie is working on a new course and he just uploaded the first two sections of that course to our membership. And we also have our Canva for social media course in there. To learn more about our membership, click the join button down below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, remember to subscribe and also to give us a thumbs up. To continue learning with us, check out our membership for exclusive content and if you are a Canva beginner, I do recommend you watch this video right here. This is it for this tutorial, so I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!